What's up everyone, it's the God Young Montu Ra and welcome to Montu Ra, the podcast where I talk about the good, the bad, and the downright dirty of music, business, and spirituality. What's up my gods and goddesses and we are back with another episode of Montu Ra, the podcast. This is episode three. I want to thank everybody for tapping in with my energy and listening to my rhetoric. So I'm super grateful for this opportunity. Um, so I told you all I was going to come back with a full moon and Sagittarius episode because this is definitely a transformational cycle that we are all going in. We can take it back to the eclipses that we had. Um, now we're heading into this new energy wave. We have cleaned out our closet uh, we have made uh, a lot of different strides with that emotional baggage um, that we have been talking about. And now we're, we're heading into this new wave, this new frequency, uh, this new upgrade, I want to say. And just before we really dive deep into it, I just want to get the timing right so people kind of know what to do and, and when it's going to be at its peak. So on June 3rd, Eastern Standard Time at 11.42 p.m., uh, that's when the full moon should be at its peak in Sagittarius. Then if uh, if you are on the uh, West Coast Pacific Standard Time, it's going to be 8.42 p.m. on June 3rd. And then if you're overseas, uh, June 4th, 5.42 a.m. in the U.K. And then 6.42 a.m. Uh, CEST time. So just want to make that clear before we dive deep. So the moon is going to be at her most optimistic and upbeat uh, frequency in Sagittarius. We're going to be a bit more motivated, I feel like, um, by the need to seek that truth. We're going to be diving deep uh, spiritually and in our own personal journeys uh, with this full moon energy coming in. So I do think we're going to be ready to pursue a new vision in life. Uh, we're going to be interested in the details uh, not just yet, though. I do think it's about hitting that overall picture, heading into the direction that we feel like we want to go in. And I want people to kind of understand that is because um, we may not know the exact um, all the details of everything. Right. But we're going to know where we're going to shoot that arrow. And I'll talk about that a little bit more. But these new experiences, the adventure of Sagittarius, the travel those different things are going to have a huge impact, but I do think that is going to satisfy us on a more deeper emotional level. Um, being spontaneous is key, and this is like a, a little sidebar. Is, um, I've been doing some different readings, and what I found out and just kind of in my own personal life is like the more that I have a plan, like, yeah, it can make sense to have a plan, of course, but the more that I just kind of have fun and go with the flow of the energy or you know, just kind of feel the vibes out. I've noticed I've had more success and had more fun just hanging out. So that is something to kind of keep in mind with this new energy. But we may also be inclined towards like overdoing things and overestimating and overstating things. So we want to keep that balance. Uh, we don't need to plan so much in the ahead, I feel like, but uh, maybe prefer to wing it, like I was saying. So this is a time to kind of let loose a little bit. I do think this energy is going to favor adventurous activities, travel, higher education, spirituality. Uh, maybe you want to start some type of publishing project or some type of uh, advertising is something I see with this full moon energy really giving us some headway as we continue to move towards that summer solstice. And I do think uh, physical activity of some sort is going to help kind of ease our body with all the things that we've been holding on to and all the things that we have been releasing uh, these past few months, maybe even years. So I do think this is a favorable time for us uh, to con to continue uh, to dive even further in our own spiritual journeys, but also just in life. So I think this is a favorable opportunity for all of us. But at the same time, it's like I'm not even exactly sure how I want to talk about this. But I do think, you know, this strawberry full moon is about ripening of of our fruit, right? It's about gathering the hard work and the seeds that we have planted throughout this year. And I do think 
It's about shooting for the stars. Now, I hope I tap on all of, the, all of that at some point, but I do think the overall point of this uh, full moon is to definitely take that arrow of that Sagittarius energy and shoot it as high as we can and chase our dreams. So when I look at it one way, it seems like a, a sense of lightness, maybe a playful nature, maybe even joy. It seems to hold a vibration that wants us to get out there and travel, explore, and to seek. But then I look at it at another way. I see something a bit deeper, more mysterious quality that is asking us to, to what? To go within, to go deep again within ourselves, and perhaps to even reconsider some of the ways we have been choosing to live our life. And that's, and that's really deep. I do feel like we could be playing a bit of tug of war as well with this full moon. On one hand, like I said, we're going to need to address our responsibilities, our schedule, uh, you know, having things in order. But on the other hand, it's like, hey, we need to kind of let loose. We need that freedom. We need to enjoy life a little bit more. We may feel this desire to move out of the mundane and into the magic. And I'll say this for myself. I, uh, I like to have a schedule. I like to do the same thing every day. But I do think this energy is going to help to kind of move, move me personally around and move the entire globe around into a more friendly, uh, energetic uh, frequency. Another, or I guess a different non-serious frequency of vibration that is going to help us to kind of have fun with life a little bit more. Uh, so I do say it's going to peak June 3rd and June 4th. Uh, so it's going to, like I said, be a bit more lighter than those eclipses. Those were pretty heavy. Those were very, very, um, not necessarily dark energies, but they were definitely very, um, definitely very emotional energies, um, is kind of the word I was looking for. But I do think this will help us to continue to move away from maybe that transformational energy and perhaps even life changing events from the eclipse. That was something that we needed to, like I said, clear out that closet. And I do think uh, us experiencing this full moon, um, we're likely to see things a bit more softening. Like I keep talking about the joy, having fun, maybe a bit more laughter, because this is the perfect energy for us to finally settle into our lives, get that groove back. Because it's going to offer us the right amount of balance and stability mixed with playful, adventurous, and, and fun type um, energy that we can actually uh, benefit from. And it's not going to be as serious. So that is something that I want to kind of harp on a little bit is having fun with this new wave that's coming in. So we're going to harness this energy of the full moon by making time for our responsibilities. But we also might crave time to unwind and play. Uh, we will know best as we continue to move forward. Like I said, this is just the energy that's coming in. This may not be uh, on the full moon, right? But this is that new wave that's coming in for us that's going to help us kind of understand it as we continue to move forward through the cosmos. So I want people to understand as well, there is that, that other end of it. There's always going to be that yin and yang. There's always going to be that positive and negative type energy um, from the poles, but this can also come out as us kind of being maybe procrastinating in life or feeling lazy, perhaps needing to have a bit more structure and tend to those priorities as well. So I want people to kind of understand that as well. But if we've been working so hard, we don't want to burn out. Remember, this Sagittarius energy is that fire. We're going to get that fire back. Um, and I will touch on Mars a bit, uh, finally being in Leo, and then we're going to have Venus in Leo soon. But um, this is something that we kind of need because now it's a time for us to actually use this energy to project where we want to get to. So we're going to need that balance is key, of course. But Sagittarius is represented by the arrow of the archer. The arrow is fired with great precision, but after it leaves the bow, uh, there, is, there are so many factors that will influence where this actual energy will land. Uh, because we're all aiming for our bullseye in life. We're all aiming to hit that mark. On where we want to get to, but um, we have to know where we are aiming at. And that is why I said, and I think this energy is not about focusing so much on the details. I think it's a great opportunity for us to reflect on where we are aiming that arrow. Where are we aiming our energy? Is this energy like beneficial for us? Is it helpful? Are we putting our energy where it is really needed? So those are kind of some questions that I've been going through and just to kind of say that out there. 
is that we have to have that understanding. We may not know exactly the details of our life, but if we know where we're headed, I think that's the great, the best way to use this energy. So I do think using the vibrations of this full moon to get clear on where we wish to aim that arrow or our key. Perhaps maybe we want to reassess our time, our energy, maybe better spent in a different direction. Who knows? This can come out in a multitude of ways, but I do think this is a great chance for us to refine that direction and really solidify where we are headed. Um, like I said, those eclipses were something of like clearing out our closet, being so emotional. Maybe we've been emotionally drained. I do think this is something that's going to help us to get that playfulness, that excitement back into our life. And, and I'm super excited about it personally. But I do think this this can come out in, in a number of ways. But because we have to remember Sagittarius and Gemini, we have to know that the sun is in Gemini right now. So these signs rule that communication, maybe the media, the publishing uh, on our personal and professional levels of connections through life, right? So Sagittarius is, zodi is the zodiac sign that encourages us to learn more, to dive deeper, to expand our perspective of life. And that can come through travel, academics, and especially spirituality. So I do think we are encouraged to pursue that adventure in life, um, changing into the unknown. And this is something that is very, it's hitting home uh, very much for me at this moment. But when it comes to this like cosmic energy, this new wave, it's, it's going to be very colorful this year. I do see there are going to be several different planetary aspects to navigate through. So we have the full moon. It's going to dance with Mars uh, with this fire energy. Mars is that planet of drive, passion, um, which, you know, may invigorate us to pursue that desire. And I do think this is something that is going to be epic for us. Because we're going to be able to trust our instincts. We're going to take the lead with this God of War energy. And we're going to be more assertive because we're going to be able to act directly. So when Mars was in Cancer, like I said, that was that emotional cleansing that we needed. It was more of an emotional battle internal. And now we have it back in a fire sign where we can actually have uh, that assertiveness in our life and have that direction. Uh, towards our goals on the outside world. So this is going to bring back that confidence. Uh, but we might ruffle some feathers, and I'm excited about that as well. You know I like to go against the grain. Um, so I do see us having the integrity, though, is at our core, right? We always want to make sure if we're ruffling feathers or, or going against the grain, like I said, we always want to make sure we're keeping our integrity. It's not about hurting people or things like that with this energy. It's about making sure we're tapping into who we are and headed in the direction that we need to go. So however, we there might be some hurdles that pop up. You know, this full moon is going to clash with Saturn and we know Saturn is about the limitations and challenges. So this may lead us to be maybe lonely or guilt or sadness around our past issues that we're still trying to clear up. So we may be inclined to maybe isolate ourselves or to avoid such criticism from others or, or our family or friends. Um, so I do think this is a great uh, medium that we have to uh, be able to understand to benefit from this energy. So I will say in, in, all, in, in all regards, it's like we're not going to be too hard on ourselves with this new energy that's coming in because we need to have fun now. It's time for us to kind of um, let, our, let our hair loose and kind of lay back. I don't have much hair, so I guess that's not for me, but... Definitely for us to kind of let our hair get into the wind, travel, adventure, maybe go on some new, um, I don't know, different dates or go on a new hike or just kind of do something spontaneous um, and still maintain that balance of our own personal life so we can always uh, understand the direction we're going. So with Jupiter being the planetary ruler of Sagittarius, uh, it's also going to clash with Venus a little bit because Jupiter is in Taurus, uh, Venus and Mars at this time. So Venus is in Cancer still, but we have to understand with the uh, with the square it's going to have with Venus and Mars because Venus is headed into Leo and it's going to be on a cusp here pretty soon. So it's going to clash a little bit with Jupiter's energy in Taurus and Mars being in Leo now. So this could spark some self-indulgent behavior. Uh, so that could be the feeling that might make us lonely or feel deflated afterwards. So we're going to do our best to practice moderation. Um, but 
I do see, most importantly, Jupiter will be smiling upon Saturn. And these planets are positioned within the zodiac that are beneficial to us to bring us the, the most results, right? So when we think about Jupiter, we think about expansion, growth, uh, abundance. And then we think about Saturn, we think about limitations, uh, father time, uh, restrictions. But um, I do think this is going to help us with that actual aspect to initiate now towards long-term growth. Uh, and even with a hint of cautiousness, uh, while we expand could lead to great success personally and professionally. So I want people to kind of understand where we're headed, uh, just kind of overall synopsis of this energy. So now I just want to break down, uh, per sign, I guess, what this energy might resonate. This isn't going to be a super long, uh, episode, even though I love to hear myself talk, but uh, I just want to kind of be more precise with this uh, full moon in Sagittarius. So with the Aries energy, I do think it's time to get ready for a great opportunity to expand your horizons and explore the unknown. And I'm going to say that pretty much through every sign, but especially Aries, you may feel invigorated to switch up your routine and move in a new direction. Some of you may even decide to focus on a long distance journey or travel or uh, some type of opportunity is going to come in regards to you kind of having having to switch things up a bit. Uh, maybe international business or relations, something's going to be involved with traveling. Uh, if involved in the media, you might be a bit eager to be. If you aren't, uh, I do see opportunities uh, to grow now in the media. Uh, last but not least, actively engaging in those academics, in those academics, which could expand your education. So a milestone moment or a decision could be at hand. So Aries, uh, you got some something coming up on the horizon. So if you are a Taurus, assessing where you stand in your relationships, especially in terms of how you share with one another, may be something to kind of focus on. If you have been feeling unfulfilled, um, you could speak it, you know, you could speak up about it. Or decide to part ways in your relationships or whoever you're dealing with. Another way this full moon may affect you is, is like uh, financial matters, right? Because we're talking Taurus. Uh, obviously, we know Jupiter is in Taurus. So this could bring a shift in the arrival of some type of bonus, uh, a venture uh, that might have some type of uh, great, great gain. Um, maybe a new line of credit, a settlement. It could come out in a number of ways. Uh, but definitely assets and investments are favored during this time. So if you are married, you may find that your partner suddenly brings in more money. Let's get a baggie for our Tauruses out there. Uh, so I do see this being a great time uh, in the uh, resources and money sector for our Taurus energy. Shout out next to all my Geminis. I do think this is about relationship growth. Or it might be some drama is coming around the corner. Who knows? I don't know. I don't have the answers for your life. But I do see this is a time where we'll, uh, you know, a lot of Geminis, if you have a lot of Gemini energy, you're going to be facing the truth in a significant partner or relationship. On the other hand, it could bring you a bit closer, allowing for more synergy, collaboration, and happiness. So I do love that. Uh, moving in, making promises, getting engaged, or even being... Um, married uh, could bring up these different conversations as well. So however, if you're not in alignment, you're surely going to decide to part ways. Uh, and I think that's going to be more mutual if uh, you all aren't seeing eye to eye in your relationship. So that's something to think about as well. So next, I want to bring up my cancer. Shout out to all the cancers. Uh, productivity is the name of the game right now. So you may realize that you're busier than ever juggling many projects and plans for your employer as well as responsibilities in your personal routine. So we might have a ton going on. Um, so it may be we might be taking on a bit too much and uh, definitely want to have uh, a bit of a, a balance in that. But this could be something that uh, maybe your job is giving you too much responsibility or you might even want to leave your job and start your own business. So if you are out of work, though, I do think this full moon could bring your resume to the top of the pile. So definitely if you're looking for a job, you have some cancer energy. I definitely think 
blasting your uh, resume. I've been talking about this pretty much for all the signs. It's promotion, advertising are going to be of the utmost importance uh, with this new wave coming in. So I do think if you are a cancer or have a lot of that energy, uh, physical health is going to be very important uh, during this time. So maybe if you want to maybe get a trainer or a specialist or maybe get a, a gym membership is something that I see. But definitely it encourages a change in diet as well. Uh, so next I'm going to talk about my Leo. Shout out to all my Leos. Um, and I've been saying this and I've been feeling this. I am a Leo, but I am a Cancer Ascendant as well. So I'm vibing with with both energies, but I do see with my Leos is laughing, love, living in the moment. Uh, we definitely live with our hearts, and I think that is very important right now. I do see romance, dating. Uh, maybe you want to court uh, a significant person that you've been having your eye on. I do see this uh, particularly a, an enjoyable time, regardless if you're single, single, excuse me, or in a relationship. So definitely, definitely. That is something to look out for. Um, if you're ready to meet new people, this is something that might give you uh, the energy to kind of go out and just have fun and mingle with people as well. So this is a great time to just hang out and vibe with people because if, if you are looking for someone or with someone, this is a great time to use this energy to get well connected. Uh, next, I want to talk about my Virgo. Shout out to all my Virgos out there. Uh, emotional stability and security are always going to be very important, right? Um, in fact, you may be quite reflective on this, on your past or maybe your heritage or maybe traditions are going to start popping up uh, for you with this new shift. But I think it is very important to kind of uh, maybe shift around your domestic life, your home life, your family. Uh, I do see such things being more desirable, and maybe even renovating, moving, redecorating. This is definitely a re-type period. Uh, renegotiate if you're working, uh, maybe looking for some type of bigger or expanding your business. I do see this energy uh, very well uh, receptive for you in those things. So Libra, our Libras, shout out to all my Libras out there. I do think this is life moving in the fast lane now. It's time to turn up, Libras. Uh, you will likely feel especially curious, social, and eager to step out of your comfort zone. I cannot tell Libras enough. They always want balance. They more than likely want to be fair, right? But it's time to step out of that balance, you know, and, and kind of do the opposite of what you normally do. But on the other hand, this could be in regards to being more intellectual, like tapping into your more uh, spiritual pursuits. Uh, maybe you want to get involved in, in writing or speaking. I'm going to say it again. Advertising is very, very important with this new energy. So I do see maybe a significant contract might manifest itself out of thin air. So definitely, definitely keep every, keep all your options open. If you have a lot of Libra energy, um, Travel, taking a trip, going out with some friends on a spontaneous type journey. I do see that as well, especially you might just want to visit your family, your siblings. Um, but definitely pencil everything in because things are going to change rapidly, especially if you have a lot of Libra energy. Shout out to all my Scorpios. What it do, what it do. So finances will be coming and going at, at this time, right? It's going to be a lot of money things that are coming up. Uh, a lot of money factors going to be on your mind. How are you going to plan things out? Um, maybe strategizing for the months ahead. I see raises. I see new job offers. I see side hustles. Um, could definitely present themselves in your life. So some of you may also, like I said, leave your job. I keep saying the same thing almost in everybody's horoscope is because this is the energy. We've been putting in a lot of work, and this is a sidebar. We've been putting in a lot of, a lot of work these past few months. And the thing is now, I do believe it's time to pick that fruit. It's time to gather uh, from the seeds that we planted uh, earlier this year. I do think it's time for us to uh, continue to trust this process. But I do think this it's very important for us to understand where we're headed and how we've actually manifested a lot of these things that are coming. Uh, so I want people to kind of understand that as well. So like I said, some of you might leave your job and, and a new stream of income is going to uh, take over. So that is something very exciting. So 
If you are spending a lot of cash, it's very important to start kind of uh, watching our bank account and kind of making sure everything is situated uh, because we're going to need that to invest later. So keep that in mind. Shout out to all my Sagittarius. Stand in your power right now. You understand what I'm saying? You will feel like all eyes are on you because they are. Uh, it's important for, uh, for personal and professional goals uh, that you've been building towards uh, for six months or longer could now be at your fingertips. Like I said, uh, it, it, you can smell it. It's right there in front of you if you have a lot of Sagittarius energy. Uh, so you might be uh, super geeked up. You're going to be fired up now. I'm telling you. So make sure that you assert yourself as well and become more dominant in, in every aspect of your life. Uh, because everyone knows uh, what you desire and how you would like to proceed is going to be very important. So definitely make yourself known, but also use your plan that you had uh, to know where you are headed. Uh, because there's energy out there that people are going to help you. But they have to know where you are headed as well. So don't be too shy. We are all stars of our show. So Capricorn, shout out to all my Capricorns. I love Capricorns. Take a step back and assess your life right now and plans, right? Yeah, because you may feel the desire to rest, to recharge, to recuperate. Uh, pushing too hard against the grain. I talked about that. I love to go against the grain, but... Capricorns are always going against the grain. They're always working hard. They're always uh, uh, making themselves accountable. But I do think pushing too hard against this grain right now is only going to lead you to burn out. So I do think it's it's best to kind of find time to meditate, maybe take a nap, uh, maybe heal uh, from some past experiences. I do see, however, though, uh, instead you might be feeling a bit haunted with all that baggage. It might be, like I said, that trauma of our past uh, so maybe look into talking to talking to people about your feelings, um, tapping in more spiritually, uh, and we could obviously find some more closure and peace if we tap back in a little more. So definitely take it easy, Capricorns. I don't want you to push too hard during this new wave. You're always pushing. Um, so definitely, definitely take care of yourself. I see that uh, as we continue to move through the cosmos. So shout out to all my queries. What it do, what it do. Uh, we know Aquarius is all about that social connection, and there's nothing different here. I do think this is an excellent period to maybe join a group or uh, some type of community. Maybe you want to do some volunteer work or become actively actively engaged with some type of cause. So um, let's understand. Let's keep this. Let's let's keep it funky. Let's keep it fresh, though. Uh, so there's plenty of, of fun things that are coming into your life. Like I said, different events. Maybe you want to expand your network. Uh, but I do see some success. If you want to do some online business or maybe even online dating, I do see that if you aren't in a relationship. So I do also want to say ask for some favors for people that you know because you never know. I do see this energy very, very, um, very peculiar in the sense of asking people because they're going to say yes. So definitely ask for some things that you want. Uh, so you take that for what that is. And last but not least, my Pisces, much love to y'all. Um, professional growth is up for the taking now. This is about getting uh, where we need to be professionally. So you may receive uh, some type of praise or success or recognition from all the work you've been building towards the past six months or even longer. So I do see new job offers, maybe promotions. Maybe you get some type of an award, but you are going to be recognized and you deserve it. However, if you aren't in the right job or industry, you may quickly realize it and need to make that pivot into a new direction. So if you've been listening to everyone's horoscope, the thing is, and the common theme of this is making sure we're headed into the direction. Now, I'm not telling you everything's going to happen today now, okay? It might, okay? I want it to. But I'm not saying it's going to, but it will at some point. And I'm speaking to myself as well. But I want people to understand this new energy is about direction. It's about focusing that arrow uh, with this new full moon energy because we've been through a lot these past few months and even years. Uh, so I want people to know if you're listening to that, trust your process, but also aim big Shoot for the stars. You know I'm not going to be the dead horse, but I love to hear myself talk. It's the God, young Matura. 
This is episode three, full moon in Sagittarius. Like I said, it's going to be at its peak, 1142 Eastern Standard Time. If you're on the West Coast, it's going to be 842 p.m. June 3rd as well. If you're out here with me, it's going to be 542 a.m. June 4th in the UK and 642 a.m. CEST time. I hope you all love this episode. I will be back with episode four. I want to thank everybody again. It's the God Young Matura, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.